Welcome to June's Leak Code Challenge. Today's problem is number of matching subsequences. Given a string S and an array of strings of words, return the number of words that is a subsequence of S. A subsequence of a string is a new string generated from the original string with some characters, can be none, deleted without the changing the relative order of the remaining characters. So ACE is a subsequence of ABCDE. We can see that because A comes here and then C is here and then E is here. Right? So it needs to be in order. Uh, we don't, and every single word needs to be inside of our, 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 our string that we're comparing it to. So here in this example, we're given A, B, C, D, E, and words A, B, B, A, C, D, and A, C, E. We can see three of these are gonna be subsequences, right? B, B is not a sub subsequence because we can match the B here, but the second B, there's no other Bs, so that doesn't count. So what are we doing? Like, if we were to do this straightforwardly, we could, just have an n times m solution where we're going to check every single uh, word. Every single character here will have like a pointer. Say that we're looking for the word AA or something like that. We can like set our pointer here to find that first word. And then when we check our second A, we'll just iterate down until we find another A or we're out of our string. If we're out of the string, then that means we couldn't find one, right? But that's going to be um, not very efficient. Like it, it would work, but it would reach a time limit exception. So what, what else can we do? Well, what if we created some sort of hash and counted up um, the, the, so make the hash of all these characters as the key and store all the index points that this uh, character existed in inside of like a list. So say for this example, we have um, uh, A equaling B and we'll add another B here just to, um, see what I'm talking about. So if we were to make like a hash, what would this look like? This would be B and zero for A. Uh, B would be, oops, would be like one and three, right? C would be two. D would be uh, four. And E would be five. Now if we had like a hat, if we had some sort of lookup like this, what we might be able to do is uh, keep track of all the index points here. And we're going to do a binary search inside of our, our list here. So starting with starting with the first word, A, we can see uh, we start with zero and we're going to try to do a binary search to find where is the rightmost point that we can insert this without uh, making it unsorted. So with zero here, uh, we could we can insert it right right at the right at this point right so this would work um, but when we get to the second a this one's gonna be a one what we'll find if 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 we want to insert one into here like we would have to insert it at the end so that actually shouldn't count there should never be a situation where this number is greater than the number that we put on here and if you think it makes sense because let, let's say we had like b here like if b was uh, a zero uh, that'd be fine we can we can find that b here at this point but when we get to a and a is a one we can see that that's not possible because the, the last a that we had is going to be at a zero so we couldn't have gotten that because right here it's going to be the first index or second index but here we can see that it has to be at the very beginning so uh, what we'll do then is create so we'll have three steps here we're gonna create a hash create a lookup we're gonna do a binary search uh, through all the words and then we'll just return our outputs okay so let's begin let's first look create our lookup which is going to be a default dictionary with a list we'll also have to store our output starting with zero so let's first create our lookup for index number and character in enumerate s we are going to append to our lookup the index number. So that's going to guarantee that it's in order. So we created our lookup. Now we also need to have a binary search um, function. What we'll do is pass in the list as well as the index point, which would be like this. And what will we do? Let's see. Um, well, I guess we'll say LR equals zero length of list while L is less than R. We're going to calculate our midpoint, which is going to be L plus r divided by two. Now we're trying to find that rightmost point, right, where we can insert. So if 
let's see, um, if our index number is less than the list midpoint, what we do, we have to increase our, uh, well, it's less, so we're going to decrease our right pointer to equal the mid, otherwise we're going to increase our L to equal mid plus one, and then finally we return L here. Okay, so I have my binary search function. Okay, so for word or W in words, we are going to check every single character for character in W. And what we'll do is uh, first store the previous index point. Uh, so this is going to kind of keep track of the maximum index point that we need to be at, like I mentioned before. Uh, we'll also have some other variables, we'll say found to make false or say true at first and we'll set it to false if we find that this isn't the case. So for C in W, we are going to uh, look up, let's call it temp variable, we're going to say, all right, do a binary search on our, our list, which is going to be look up C and pass in the previous, which is like basically the maximum index point that we're on right now. So if we find that temporary is equal to the length of look up, that means we had to go all the way to the right side, right? So if that happens, that means this isn't possible. So found equals false, and we just break our loop right now. Now, otherwise, we are going to store our previous to equal um, whatever, whatever the index value is here. So this would be equal to C, find that 10 right here. Okay, so finally at the end of this word, if found is still true, then we're going to update our output to equal one. And finally, turn our output. All right, so let's see if this works. I may have messed this up. So let me, oh. default dict. Oh, lots of typos today. All right. Uh, so this should return three. It does. Let's go ahead and submit that. And accepted, phew. Okay, so time complexity wise, what's it gonna be? Well, we have N for sure. Um, M, I believe it's gonna be, uh, let's see here, N times M log M. Okay, M being the average length of each word here. I think that's right, so N times M log M. Pretty sure I might be wrong about that, but you could take a look. Uh, you can, you don't actually need to write this binary search one. You could just use uh, bisect, which would do the same thing, bisect, bisect. Uh, but I just thought I would write it out to understand it better. All right, uh, hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.